I recognize the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Griffith. Five. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Common sense. Common sense. The marketplace won't make them do it. So what does that mean? Let me translate that for you. What that means is we'll make things cost more in the United States by having the government raise the cost. We will get a level playing field in the United States, but an unlevel playing field with all of our competitors across the world. Do you think that the Chinese are considering this policy of, uh, adopted in this amendment? No, they are not. Do you think that any of the other Asian nations or the emerging economies of Africa are going to consider this when they do it? We know that from NASA studies, that's right, science, science, takes about 10 days for the air to get from the middle of the Gobi Desert to the eastern shore of Virginia. And when that air comes across with that, even the reasonable regulations that we have now, when you add these additional regulations on, you push our jobs to China and other places in Asia, and they send us back, that's right, their mercury, their pollution, their problems. We cannot solve as one nation of this world the problems that Mr. Waxman has referenced. Whatever the problems are, we cannot destroy our economy so that we can say, well, we feel good about it. My district is a poor district compared with Mr. Waxman's and others. It has great people who want to work, and many of them have been working in the coal industry for generations. And many of them today are the casualties in the war on coal. And ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you, we are not surrendering in that war on coal. And I appreciate the chairman, Mr. Whitfield, bringing this bill forward because this bill is not a surrender. It's more like the demand that was made by the Germans at Baston to Baston, thank you, to General McAuliffe. And this bill, Chairman Whitman is saying to those who have the war on coal, who don't care about the people of the coal regions of this country, who don't care if they're unemployed, who don't care if they can't even afford the cheap seats, we are saying nuts to you. We're going to support the American economy. We're going to support jobs. And we are not going to adopt this amendment. I yield back.